Hey guys, Zach with Boats Plus here, and today we are in Columbia, South Carolina at Explore Boat Works. This is Frankie, the founder. Frankie, thank you. Yeah, dude, absolutely, man. Good to have you here. So, Frankie, what inspired you to start Explore Boat Works? What did you think you could improve upon the brands that were already out there? So, it didn't necessarily go about it in that manner. Um, this whole thing started with a film series called Explore Project, um, where we wanted to, I wanted to have an adventure. Um, as a kid reading books in the library of all these expeditions and stuff like that always kind of thrilled me and was something I wanted to do and so um, Explore Project kind of came about where me and a buddy of mine had to go set a bunch of rules and had to live off of our fly rods for a month um, and so we did the first uh, season or episode of that in Andrews Island, the Bahamas um, and Maverick was our partner on that one and we had a 17 HPX, a great little boat and um, when we got back from that, we wanted to do it again immediately, but um, you know, our gear set list was a lot different than what you just take fishing for a day. You know, we got water and sleeping bags and tents and all this stuff, and so it didn't fit in a traditional flats boat. And so we came back and gave myself seven days to make a boat from scratch. Um, and then we were gonna go live on it for a month and do it around Louisiana. And um, a guy by the name of Harry Spear, that's Spear Boat Works down in Tennessee, Florida. Um, helped me out building that. We kind of laid the boat out in my garage with all of our gear and then Gary helped us put it together uh, in his shop down in Panacea. And the boat's actually right here with the Dutch line on top of the town. Um, but we just needed a really open floor plan. And we needed something that would do some bay boat things as well as a lot of technical holding and skip things. And did that trip and came back and, and had a bunch of stuff that I wanted to change on the bottom to make it do what I had envisioned that I wanted it to do. And, um, so we came back here, cut the whole bottom off out of fair security, didn't want any, like, I'm not, I don't want to copy anybody, I just want to do all our own thing. And um, spent a year kind of reshaping and rebuilding the bottom of that boat, um, and it went from you know, one boat to three boats to people starting to want more, and it's been incredible. Um, I had no intention of starting a boat company doing this, um, if it just want to go on a trip and go you go have you know our adventures which is what we're so lucky to do now is to be able to build these boats for everybody else to go have their adventures on which is super special um and you know you don't get a lot of chances to build something that somebody buys from a true place of joy and we get to do that it's, it's amazing so our our boat started with our x18 which this is uh, an x18 here that's getting ready to head to texas um and it's changed and morphed into some carbon fiber boats with our X7 and 13, um, and then moving up into our bigger boat, which are our X24 back here, and then we've got some bigger models coming um, after that. And we also have another line called Delta Boat Works, which is our X18 moved into a simpler package um, that goes out at more price points, good and stuff. So, Listen, let's talk about that Delta Boat Works. Yeah. Thing. What made you want to split that off in the so when, when I first started Explore, like I wanted us to be value centric. Like I, I, I wanted us to be a, a lot of bang, bang for your buck, a lot of boat for your money. Um, and everybody's seen prices go up in the last three years post COVID. And um, we just sat down and said, how can we make something that can be somebody's first boat and that can be affordable and that can check a ton of boxes? Because we also have all these custom options and it gets so confusing and it gets hard to figure out what you want and so we took and, and, and stripped kind of all of our rigging portion out of what we would make a typical boat for and just got down to kind of the basics of you know we all grew up on aluminum killer job boats you know and um, and those always have a place and they have a place because they're super simple and they're affordable and it doesn't take much to run them and so that was kind of where we were with the mindset with Delta and our Delta 18 is probably the best bang for your buck you can get. Boat, motor, and trailer packages start at $29,999 retail. Um, and you can get them from any of our dealers. You can go to delta-boatworks.com. I'm sure you can share that link in here. Um, and check out all the pictures and models on that. And then we've got a 23 and a 25 coming out in that same kind of vein um, that we're working on in the back right now. I can't show you all that, but it's not done yet. But when it's finished, we'd love to have you back here. I'll show you through that, too. Um, now, is that 23 and 25, are they going to be more like the Andros boats, or are they going to be more of a flat bottom? No, 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 they're more of like, they're actually a little more dead rise than our 24 now. Um, there's not much to come. 
this sounds marvelous. There's not much to compare them to. There's tons of great boats out there that all do this stuff. Um, this one has been built a little more simple um, with a lot of modu modular add-ons that you can put in to kind of make it your own. And that's been kind of the other the other part of Delta that's been exciting is that you can now take this boat and do a lot of your own creations to it and, and we're excited to see what kind of that community does to show off that boat. Yeah, that sounds a lot like what you've been talking about, how y'all build the place, but there's a lot of additional things. Oh, yeah. So that's, yeah. that's what y'all really go on. Well, that's where it, it starts with, if you want. with Explore, for sure. So with the Explore brand, that's going to stay super custom, super, let's sit down and figure out what you want to do to where we can make it. Um, and we're not going to make, you know, the goal is to make a bazillion Explore boat. You know, the goal is to make you a boat and you a boat and, like, really focus on the customer portion of that through our dealer network. Delta is more, it's going to be standard options. It's only going to come in four colors, maybe five colors each year. Um, but it's something that you can, any dealer can be an extension of us to put the boat together. So it, it's it's designed to be a boat for the masses. So that's where Delta is going. Now, let's hop on back to the models you'll have. Can you explain a little bit of the difference of the X7, the 13, and the 18, which is the coming Delta boat for us? Yeah. Can you explain a little bit of the difference somebody who might not know a lot Yeah, so the, the, the X-18 and the Delta-18 um, are just really simple open floor plan layouts. There's not a ton of index storage. Um, it's a, a shallowest drafting boat. I mean, that boat can be set up to draft as little as like three and a half, four inches of water um, with a carbon package on it. Um, but really, design of what that started this my business was having this Swiss Army knife of a platform that you could you know, have a little bit higher size, it can run in rougher water, it still floats shallow, it's light, it's easy to clean, it's easy for one or two guys to use, you can duck hunt out of it, you can um, fish where it should take your wife for dinner, like it, it checks a lot of boxes. Um, and then when we started looking at the how, kind of what the next evolution for us would be in a technical pulling skill, um, the X7 and then the 13, X13 kind of came about, and both those holes were designed to have more aggressive running surface, a paddock running surface that's going to let you be faster, um, a total different spray rail design that get uh, kind of a really quiet, really dry, maximized topside fishing space, um, and then gave us a ton of index storage and live well options. So there's 85 gallons of available water on the boat for a live well standpoint if you want to add that. Um, there's tons of storage. Uh, it's a carbon fiber package that comes up about 650 pounds a symbol. Um, and you can run horsepower from 60 to 225 on it. Um, and then the 13 was a hole that I'd been messing with running surface wise. That was, uh, was really specific for our tarpon fishery here. A uh, guy by the name of Newman Weaver down in Georgetown, South Carolina, who's a really good friend. And we fished together a bunch, and um, it was a really unique environment. We were like, we're running through jetties. And, and fishing the ocean and trying to get shallow and so I came back and kind of built this bottom and it ran so well that I took a seven hole and just kind of morphed it to it and, the, and that way everything else fit. So as far as families go, the X7 and 13 are identical boats top side. Same cap, same liner, same console, just a different more aggressive running so it's on the 13 versus the 7. But drafts a little bit more. Um, it's a unique boat. Like I. You got to really chat with me to get a build of 13, like just because I, it, I don't want to mislead anybody on what the boat's supposed to do. But, um, but our seven is a an absolute Swiss Army knife when it comes to a boat that you can run three to four people in. You can run fast. You can run in the ocean. It's a 60 mile an hour boat with a 115 prop for that for speed. Um, it's 650 pounds. It'll drop six inches of water. It holds real well. Um, Super proud of that, of, of both of those boats. Yeah. Is, is that what you would recommend for a first time to get fired? If you had to recommend one, would it be your X7 or? It, I mean, it's a big price job, you know, going from a, a, a carbon boat, a glass boat to a carbon boat. Um, if anybody's coming in here and now looking at the market, we're honestly not that expensive. I mean, we're still underpriced for other 18 foot boats in our space. So. If somebody's coming in looking for a flat boat, we definitely start with the X7 just because it, it has a more traditional layout um, for flat boat stuff with all the hatches and storage and whatnot. Um, 
And then if it's somebody first boat time on that Delta, it's hard to be. I mean, it, for the money, for, for you know, Poland Tower console, all that, you know, getting it under forty thousand um, dollars, that's pretty tough to beat for a first boat. But you can go beat up and, and scratch up and all that stuff, and it doesn't break your heart every time. You hard to find those details. Yeah, no, 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 for sure. Now, y'all, you're eighteen. It comes in a tiller hand, is that what yeah. the Delta series? The Delta series comes, comes in tiller and console. It's a little different. We do a little leaning post um, with the boat sitting on the deck and I can give it a little more space aft. And it's a, the driving experience in that boat is fantastic. It's like driving a go-kart. It's, uh, it's super fun and it, it gets great fuel economy. Um, it, it just does a lot. It does a lot of little bay boat things and a lot of little skip things too. Very cool. And so I know you talked about the Delta boat works, yep. not, but is it more boat works going to be adding any more models like the Bay boat yep. here, the Andros? So is, yep. What's the plan for its more boat works going forward? Is bigger. And now in yeah. the bigger boats as well? Yeah, it'll be bigger boats. We're, um, we're looking at starting to work on some of that stuff this fall. We've been touring around. That was kind of where we didn't know how big we wanted to go on that. You know, we're confined by some. Um, some building restrictions here as far as space goes. We've got a growth plan here that adds another probably 100, 120,000 square feet on the roof here in the next few years. So as, as we get that stuff built, we'll be able to accommodate building some bigger parts. And if most people don't think about when you're building any of these boats, all our boats are three pieces. So you have a whole okay. cap and line. Up. So for every boat that we got to build, we have three giant parts and molds and tooling that we got to store and I don't like leaving them outside so having the space inside here that we can keep everything, keeps it clean and keeps it in better condition for making the part. But yes, Explorer does have um, initially a 28 uh, is what is kind of on the ground board right now and then getting into the upper 30s. Down the road, down the road. Yeah. Very cool, very cool. Now Frankie, final question here. What is your favorite boat? Is it going to be this X7? Uh, I don't get them long enough. I couldn't come up with myself one. It's sold. Um, my, honestly, like if you look at what my family and I spent the most time on, it's like a Tiller Delta 18. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I love our X7. I mean, love, that's probably my favorite skip to fish on. Um, and we've been super fortunate to have a lot of customers support us and build those boats. Um, I don't get to see them very long. You know, we, we, like we got a gentleman driving up from Texas today that we're going to go fish with tomorrow, so I'm super pumped to go spend some time with him on the water. But, you know, in this spot, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky to get to my favorite boat to be whatever boat's going to be the best thing for me that day with what we want to be. You know, there's some days where I love being on the plane more because we're going to run offshore or go bottom fishing or go tarpon fishing in some nastier conditions. Um, I love spot and stalk stuff with Paul. Yeah. So, uh, I can't answer that. They're, they're all, they're you all, like them all? Yeah, they're all, you know, we can build all of them here from scratch from a plug standpoint. So they've all got a lot of blood getting gears in them when they get here. Yeah, they all need some Yeah, yeah. The quiver needs to be full for everybody to be happy. So I need one of these. We're going to go for it. Got you. Frankie, thank you for having us out yeah, here. Yeah, and guys, stay tuned because we're going to be taking you through the Explore Boat Works factory, showing you how they build their boats, and showing you some of the features on the X7, the 13, the 18, and the 24. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe down below. Check out Explore Boat Works, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.